I, I think this is the power of citizens' action. Um, we got uh, credible intelligence actually on social media about a supermarket in Abuja that was engaging in restrictive practices, meaning discriminatory practices, essentially um, not allowing um, certain nationals, especially Nigerians, to sh shop in their entire space. And so over the weekend, um, we had a surveillance uh, uh, walk going on and checking the place. And it was quite conflicting, but we uh, checked a few times by multiple uh, um, operatives and found out that yes, uh, something is certainly going wrong. And so what we decided to do was to come right away. And few issues that we had were, one, it seemed like um, there were labeling issues primarily, and then there was also discriminatory issues. And as you can see, um, they have a full supermarket behind a small door that says staff only, where they restrict other nationals except uh, certain nationals from getting in. And so we gained access to the place and discovered that it's quite a big uh, enterprise there um, with uh, large displays. But more importantly is that uh, there are all kinds of products, especially animal products, that certainly haven't passed through the normal channels uh, for them to make it into the market. And this is very disturbing, especially at a time like this. And um, we understand that these products are coming from Asia and China specifically. And as you probably know, uh, the biggest issue internationally now is the coronavirus. And there's sufficient information to show that uh, this, was, this started out as animal to animal transfers and now animal to human beings, especially wild animals. And uh, the origin of it is in Hunan, Hunan, which is a seafood district in China. And so you've got a lot of seafood here. It's very open. We don't know how it came. We don't know what the process is. It hasn't gone through any process. And what is worse, we're seeing all kinds of things that certainly violate the laws in Nigeria. Uh, some of the things are growing mold, even in a refrigerated system. A huge cold room of expired products. And um, some of the dates on some of the products here show that they would expire in 2073 or 20, 2089. And this is supposed to be pork or meat. Obviously, that is uh, inappropriate chicken and gizzard expiring 50, 60, sometimes even 70 years from now. And so it's very clear to us that there's a problem. And as we analyzed the store, we saw that there are several parts of the store where it's concealed, uh, concealed stores in different places. And as we opened each of the concealed stores, we found other things. Uh, we found expired rice, inappropriate rice. Um, mushrooms which are supposed to be sold as refrigerated stacked up and we find uh, even the active toilets are used as storage for food and so there's a number of things that are wrong here and so we would be closing the place down our understanding is that this is not the first time this has happened here but it seems to me that uh, these are serial violators of the law and because this is a matter of uh, food and health um, we would not take any chances uh, the one thing that we cannot afford in Nigeria is that we can't spend uh, our resources protecting uh, the ports from the entry of uh, corona or other viruses while um, people violate uh, those uh, import rules and bring uh, things into town. I don't, I'm not saying for sure that that would be the case here, but the only way to be sure that we deal with this appropriately is preventive measures. Uh, there's a heightened level of scrutiny to those things now. And so as regulators, we're also very sensitive to that. And so we'll close this place down.